Have you ever noticed how some people tend to get trapped in negative spirals of thinking? And have you ever wondered how you can invite someone to see the good or to see the positive? I wanna share with you a coaching principle that has really transformed my own life and it's truly helped every single client that I've ever worked with. And the coaching principle is called what you focus on is what you get. So essentially what it's saying is, is wherever you put your attention, that's what you're gonna get more of. You focus on what's negative, you're gonna get more negativity. If you focus on what, what's wrong, you're gonna get more of what's wrong. If you focus on what's right or what could go right or what is good, that's what you're going to attract or that's what you're going to move towards. Now the principle is this, because it kind of gets misunderstood as well. You can't just make everything positive all the time. You do have to address what isn't working or you could say what's negative or what's wrong. And so this is the principle, it's as simple as this. 90% of the time, we want our mindset to be focused on the solution. 90% of the time. 10% of the time, we can focus on the problem. What this means is, is that when we're approaching a situation in life, it is important to address what's not working. To take a moment to say, all right, so say for example, um, you've had a car accident. It could be something really simple. So there's been a car accident. Okay, well that's the problem. The car is broken, we need to fix it. Now, then we wanna quickly start moving to, okay, so how do we solve the problem? What can we be grateful for? What is it that I can take away as a lesson? How do I prevent this from happening again? How do I just get back to enjoyment and getting back to life? Now, what a lot of people do, and I wonder if you've noticed this, and actually I used to do this before I knew this principle, is I would put 90% of my time on the problem. So metaphorically, I'd have a car accident, or let's just use that as a metaphor for something in your life that just goes wrong, right? And I used to put all of my attention on it. And I'd say, okay, why is this happening? What's wrong with me? Did I, why did I deserve this? And I would wallow in the problem. Now, when you wallow in the problem, it just makes it worse. Now, the, the challenge here is that some people are addicted to sitting in the problem and they hang out with other people that want to sit in their problems. And then they compare problems with each other and they get together and they say, oh, you know, my day's really tough. And that other person says, oh, you haven't heard about my day. My day's even tougher. Nothing good actually comes from that. There's no benefit to it. So we don't want to disregard our problems. We want to acknowledge them. And then we want to move to solution and say, all right, so yep, I had a car accident. I had a bit of a, a challenge there. What can I do to change that? How do I move on from my problems? Because life is not a problem. It doesn't always have to be problematic. Let's use COVID as an example. You might be watching this right now in lockdown. And I know, you know, I've spent a lot of time in lockdown. Okay, so lockdown, that's the problem. What's the solution? Well, how do I enjoy being at home? How do I enjoy the new opportunity that I've got? How do I see the potential to turn this into something good? I'm not gonna disregard the challenge, but I'm gonna focus on what is it that I can take away from this? Or how do I make my day great? I'm gonna start looking for the solution. What you focus on is what you get. If you look for problems, you're gonna find more problems. If you look for solutions, you're gonna find solutions. So I trust that this message, I understand that it's simple, but it's also profound. I trust that it's useful for you. And if you'd like to find out more about ideas like this and how you can apply them to your own life, and I think most importantly, how you can share ideas like this with the people around you, then go ahead and click the link below. I'd love to invite you along to a wonderful live one day event where we keep on exploring how we can do this for ourselves and for others. Go ahead and click the link below and I look forward to seeing you on the other side.